Here are three tips that are gonna help you hit amazing high forehand volley. That volley that's around head level, it often gives players a lot of trouble. Tip number one, when you set the racket for the high forehand volley, have your front hand higher than your hitting hand. What this does is it, make it makes it very easy for you to take the throat of the racket forward and catch the throat. See, our, our hands just anatomically, they move toward each other. It's just a fact. And I've watched for 27 years players hitting high volleys and they put their non-hitting hand down here. They just drop their hand. Well, guess where the racket goes? It finds the other hand. It's just natural. So using that understanding, let's put the non-hitting hand in a place that encourages our racket to move the direction we want, which is forward. So have your non-hitting hand slightly higher than your hitting hand and in front of the throat, and then you'll take the racket straight forward, hitting a penetrating volley. Tip number two, don't stop when you volley, but move through the volley. Something I like to tell my students is don't move to the ball, move through the ball. Uh, especially a high volley, it's a, it has a momentum power source. See, if a volley is high, like up here or even head level, it's generally not traveling very fast. Because if a ball is up here and traveling really fast, it's gonna go out, right? Your, your doubles partner say, don't hit it because the ball's gonna go out. So higher balls tend to be slower balls. So we need momentum in order to add power because we wanna attack that ball and put that ball away and punish our opponents for giving us a floating high volley. So don't, even if you're moving forward, don't stop when you get there, keep moving. Especially when you're moving, you're on balance. When we stop, we fall off balance. Think about when you're driving a car and you slam on the brakes, everything falls off, falls off the, the dashboard or people wake up, they're like, oh, is everything okay? Because everything stopped. You don't want that. You want to keep your body weight moving through, you'll stay on balance and you'll have the power supplied by the body. Tip number three, I want you to put side spin on a high volley. Here I've got a two-tone ball. I want you to try to hit side spin, and as a righty hitting a forehand, that means putting a slight right to left spin on the ball. This is gonna force your racket to move forward and level to the ground, not chop or roll over. We can't just rely on our technique to improve our shots. We also have to improve our intentions because our intentions drive technique. Right? How do we know what technique to use if we don't know what we're trying to do with the ball? So we can try to hit side spin on the volley. As a way to make sure that we don't chop or roll the racket over the ball. So I'm going to hit a series of volleys. The ball is going to be around head level when I contact. My front hand's going to be high. I'm going to move through it. I'm going to put side spin on everyone. So let's look at my front hand. Look at it, my front hand's up. And I'm gonna take the racket to my front hand. Now I'm gonna move through the volley. I'm not gonna stop. And now I'm gonna put side spin on. I'm going slightly across the ball. This is what it looks like to chop. You don't want that. Or to flip the racket. You don't want that. So if you're a singles player and you're really frustrated with your strategy because you keep losing to opponents you feel you should be able to beat like a pusher, then check out the singles playbook where they teach you how to beat the seven most common playing styles in recreational tennis. How to beat the pusher, counter puncher, aggressive baseliner, serve and volleyer, <laughs> doctor feel good. Those are those slice and dicers, those really annoying players who put all that spin on the ball. Uh, I, I hate playing those players, uh, all court players and southpaws. See, this is over 50 pages of strategy after strategy, and each page comes with a QR code. You just put your phone or tablet up over that code and up pops a video teaching you exactly how to use these strategies. So if you wanna play to your strengths while exposing your opponent's weaknesses 
all while avoiding common errors, then you got to check out the singles playbook. You can do so by clicking the link on the screen right now. So click right there to check out the singles playbook so you can start winning more matches. You work on your high forehand volleys. With these three tips, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.